During her visit to Kebun Kebun Bangsa, an urban farm in Kuala Lumpur on Saturday, Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government Minister Zuraida Kamarudin said new laws on urban farming are in the pipeline. She said the ministry, together with the National Landscape Department, see a huge potential in developing urban farms by creating a new standard operating procedure. Saya lihatkan bahawa sudah tiba masanya untuk saya membentuk satu komiti uh, bersama dengan NGO NGO ini untuk melihatkan dasar-dasar baru, eh, buat polisi baru bahawa kita harus manfaatkan urban farming ini sebagai satu program yang berbentuk education, yang berbentuk sustainable, optimize dia apa ni, the locality punya resources, and this is a good educational uh, place where children can learn about plants, trees, even animals for that matter. But however, we have to look into the policy, the guidelines. When we want to develop this urban farm or this garden, so everyone is following the same standard procedure. Tapi kita lihat botany garden ini tidak ada orang yang akan nak menyenggaranya. Benda-benda begini kita perlu korang yang passionate. Kita punya approach juga, kita akan melihat kaedah baru. Kita akan membukakan taman-taman botany atau urban garden ini juga, kebun-kebun ini, kepada pihak-pihak NGO yang berminat, yang ada track record. Once we put some fun, let them run on it and it will become independent, they are able to sustain. Kebun Kebun Bangsa is one of the self-sustaining urban farms being used as a model by the Ministry in developing the legislation for urban farms. Established in 2017, the farm is spread over about one hectare of land. On a public complaint of noise pollution, the co-founder of the farm said, until there are laws to protect urban farming, people would take advantage of the loopholes to shut down such operations. So the, the complainant is a lawyer, he knows his law, so that he knows that uh, in DPKL we're not supposed to keep animals. And come to noise, noise is a matter of decibels and a matter of tolerance. I don't think our chicken and our fowls are more noisy than the motorbikes that come up and down these hills, for example. The farm has been producing food for communities around the area, especially the lower income B40 group.